Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Frostbite playing cards from Sam Wheeler. All right, so what are the Frostbite cards? Uh, this was originally a Kickstarter project. It was successfully funded, and it is a beautiful monochromatic deck that is perfect for flourishing. If you look at the tech box, it continues to carry out the frosty minimalist theme. It has little text, and the blue icy shards are what really stands out. The ice that surrounds the bottom of the box is shiny and glossy, and it makes it look like you just took this box right out of a frosty tundra. The bottom has a little bit of ad copy about Hanson Chen and the Cardistry Hipster, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the Hanson Chen playing card company out in Taiwan. Uh, you might remember they also printed the Chicken and Nuggets deck. These cards are printed on a German Kohler playing card stock with a very special finish. A lot of people always ask how these cards feel and how they handle. Best thing I can do is measure them with a caliper and give you a better idea of how thick they are so that you can compare them against other decks that you have held or owned. Uh, when I put 10 of these into the caliper, they come to 2.97. 2.97 is about the same as the Blood Kings from Bicycle, uh, the Olympia cards that Bicycle put out, and the Casino Royale cards that were also made in Taiwan. The back design has a blue and white colorway feature. Uh, you see a lot of these triangular shapes and simplified compass rows uh, right there in the center. It's a really chill, geometric, abstract back design. It's also two-way, which makes it perfect for cardistry and magic. The jokers in this deck are not really even jokers at all. One card features the word create, and that's there to inspire you. And the second one is the company logo and the year of production. The pips and indice cards are all the same color. So the black cards are blue and the red cards are blue. Uh, and it's the same blue as the back of the cards, which makes it a great cardistry deck because no matter which way you flip them, uh, your viewers see the same color striking back and forth. Uh, the pips and indices are all completely and originally redone. The court cards are just as simple as the pips. They're all constructed of geometric shapes with stripped out minimalistic features. The aces in this deck are simplistic and sleek. These minimalist aces retain the simplistic nature of the cards and put a new twist on the traditional ace design. All right, so that is my review of the Frostbite cards from Sam Wheeler and Hanson Chen. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash metricorthodoxy, twitter.com slash metricorthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you ever need more content, you can always find it at magicorthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.